हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू योर वेरी ओन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म द वर्ल्ड ऑफ केमिस्ट्री दिस इज अर्पिता त्रिपाठी एंड टूडे वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स फॉर डिस्कशन एंड नो अबाउट इट इन डिटेल्स सो प्लीज कीप वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग एंड नॉलेजेबल टॉपिक्स एंड टू नो अबाउट माई लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स डू द नीडफुल Today we will be discussing about metalloids its property and uses and their examples noble gases properties examples and their uses so those who have already seen my previous videos of this chapter today's part will be easy for them to understand but those who haven't seen i would request them to see it first so let's begin the discussion first what are metalloids these are the unique or special group of elements that share the properties of both metals and non metals they form a staircase on the periodic table or rather you can say a border between metals and non metals in this diagram you can see this part of the table is metals this part of the periodic table is non metals and in between metalloids are present the name of the elements those are metalloids are boron silicon germanium arsenic polonium tellurium and antimony as we have already read they have the properties of both metals and non metals but some of the metalloids are semiconductors also what does the word semiconductor means this means that they can carry an electrical charge under special conditions and this property makes the metalloids useful in computers and calculators of metalloids first one is boron it is used as control rods in the nuclear reactors in the form of boron carbide shields it is also used in making cleaning products like detergents insecticides etc next is silicon it is known for its semiconductor properties it is used in electric devices like computer lcd screens etc it is also used in the form of silicon dioxide and silica to manufacture brick cement etc main uses of germanium is it is used in chemotherapy it is used to make camera lenses it is used in making microscope objects it is used in solar panels to increase efficiency used in making spectroscope and medications arsenic is commonly used to strengthen the alloy of copper and lead which are used in car batteries it is also used in preserving wood from various bacteria fungi and insects The next one is antimony. It is used as a fining agent which helps in removing microscopic bubbles from TV screens. It is also used in the safety equipment in nuclear reactors. The next metalloid is tellurium. One of the most common uses of tellurium is alloying. it increases the resilience and durability of metals it is also very effective in solar cell panels as a semiconductor and the last metalloid is polonium it is used in the brushes which are used to clean camera lenses and photographic films it is also used in paper rolling machines spinning synthetic fibers etc next we'll read about noble gases 
The noble gases are the most stable group of elements. They are colorless and odorless. They are also inert in nature, which means they do not readily react with other elements. These are the elements in periodic table who are known as the noble gases. Now let's see some uses of the noble gases. First one is helium. It is used in making or in filling the balloons and airships as it is less dense than air. Hydrogen is also less dense still it is not used because it is a flammable gas. It burns easily. Helium is also used in deep sea diving because of its solubility which is very low. Next is Neon. It is used in making fluorescent lights in advertising sign boards because it is glowing in nature. Argon. Like all noble gases, it is also chemically inert and it is used in filament bulbs because the metal present in the filament will not burn in argon and it reduces evaporation of the metal filament. Next, Krypton. It is used in incandescent light bulbs. Now what is this bulb? It is an electric bulb with a wire filament which is heated until it glows. Xenon is also used in fluorescent bulbs, flash bulbs and lasers. The last one is Radon. It is used in radiotherapy to kill the cancer cells. So students, hope you understood the chapter well. Thank you and have a nice day.